Hi again, this is Pete Peters with Stealth Health and today I'm going to show you a really simple no-bake uh, cookie. I've been telling people in my diabetes prevention classes uh, for some time that I would show them uh, this cookie. It is uh, relatively healthy, although uh, there's still a lot of calories and so you don't want to eat too much. One of the things that I do is that uh, I will freeze these and I actually like them better and most people like them better uh, when they're really cold and frozen but also uh, it limits the, the number that you end up being able to eat because uh, they're frozen and so it takes longer to eat them. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one or three quarters of a cup of virgin organic coconut oil and put them in a pan, in a saucepan here and I'm going to put them on the stove behind me which has already been turned on I'll just let that heat up and, uh, and get ready so that it's nice and hot. Uh, here I have uh, three cups of rolled oats and I'm going to add three quarters cups of stevia. We prefer to use a different uh, non-sugar uh, sweetener instead of stevia which is also fine. Um, I'm going to take and add one tablespoon of vanilla. And here I have six tablespoons of Dutch chocolate. It's just uh, plain Dutch chocolate. It is really good. Adding that there. And the next thing I'm going to add is one cup of fresh ground peanut butter. I get this from Winco. The fresh ground peanut butter is also really excellent. Usually I use Adam's uh, Chunky Peanut Butter. I really like the Chunky Peanut Butter, but uh, for this I decided to uh, do the fresh ground from Winco. Okay, this ingredient is non-sweetened uh, coconut flakes. Also, I get those from Winco, and I'll just mention that uh, I get the best price on my stevia from Walmart. And my Coconut oil is ready. Coconut oil, and I'm going to just pour that on. It's nice and hot, as you can see, because it's kind of boiling there. And I'm just going to take with a wooden spoon and mix it. And I want to mix all of this together really good. Okay, finish it up with my hands. them into balls really nice and tight. I put some plastic on this cookie pan and yeah that's a pretty big ball. When I get done with this I will put another piece of plastic on top and put them in the freezer and after they're frozen, I'll put them in a container in the freezer and just leave them in the container as balls in the freezer and then people can have one at a time when they're ready. I've taken these to work and people love them. Um, they're still quite a bit of fat, but it's a healthier fat and there's no sugar and of course it's gluten free and these are really excellent the coconut flakes really add a lot to it uh, I hope you enjoy them hope you uh, give them a try and enjoy them if you've got kids make them with your your kids and let them get their hands all messy uh, 